It is just over 24 hours ago that I put this Envirotex mixture in here. And as you can see, the gauge is a little bit higher than it was when we put it in. Well, I heard the air compressor kick in this morning. And for those of you who are following the series called My First Alumilite Project, well, I actually ordered the Alumilite this morning. And I did have to order it from Toronto. And I got it from a place called Plastic World. Now, as it turns out, it's a place that was also recommended by one of the viewers. And it was a coincidence. I had just been on their website not an hour before I read his message. Now you may be wondering why did it take so long for that cylinder to empty out from the air? You would think it would empty out almost instantly. Well, that little silver fitting that you see on the end there, I filled that up with solder. And then I drilled a tiny little hole in the end of it. And this is by design. And the idea is that when I fill the uh, tank up with air, I don't want the air rushing in and spilling whatever I've got in there. This way it fills up really nice and slow. And like I say, no dangerous spilling stuff. Now before we get going here and I cut this blank out of this little form, a couple of things I want you to notice and that is I did not make the blank any longer than I had to because I'm planning on using this kit here. I probably could have actually made it even an eighth of an inch shorter yet but I uh, didn't want to waste any more of that Envirotex than I had to. I'm planning on using this kit here and this is the brass tube from it. Second thing I want you to notice is this. You will see here how uh, you might say foamy that is. Well that's actually just as hard as this except that the little bubbles haven't been compressed down you might say out of sight more or less. I don't know how that works but it just does and you can see the tremendous difference. This would have looked just like this had we not used the pressure. Okay, be honest now. How many of you jumped? I jumped. Now, is this salvageable? Maybe if I drill the hole close to this side and just turn this away on the lathe, which I had entertained doing in the first place. Okay. Too bad. It went quite a ways in here. But we might be able to salvage this. Well, I've sort of marked off with felt marker here to sort of indicate, you know, where the bad spot is. Now, as you can see here, it doesn't leave a whole lot of room. So I've got to get that hole drilled pretty well in the center of what I think is the good part. Oh well. The real stuff is coming in two or three days. But that's too bad. Too bad I did that. 